Hi everybody and welcome to Jesus Paid the Price. This is Vanessa. I am coming to you today with a welcome to 2018. Happy New Year's. I want to do a reflection on 2017 and I want to do an encouraging video on uh, what to expect, what to put out in 2018. So you guys, I don't know about you, but I think we all should sit down and meditate and reflect on 2017 and the years past. Reflect on the growth that we have made in 2017. Let's reflect on the lessons learned in 2017. And let's reflect on the blessings of 2017. And once we compile all of that information, our feelings, our fears, our accomplishments, then we can better go into 2018 with a fresh view and outlook on things. If you would have done X, Y, and Z differently in 2017, what would the, would have been different results for you? So now you can come into 2018 with a fresh view of what you should do to get the different, um, get the different outcomes that you want in 2018. So I am so grateful for 2017. I just want to thank God right now. I want to praise him. I want to thank him for his blessings, his healing, his love, his light. I want to thank him for his provisions for me in 2017. And because of him and him alone, I can walk into 2018 knowing that it is going to be a glorious, profitable year for the kingdom of God. So I just want to give God that praise, that honor, and that glory. And regardless of what else happens to me in life, I know that God is on my side and that's all that matters. So I know now that 2018 is going to be a great, wonderful year. I just know it, you know, I just know for my personal life, 2018 is going to be a blessing. I know for my spiritual and Christian walk with God, 2018 is going to be a blessing. And I just know in all aspects of my life, as far as mentally, physically, spiritually, everything is going to be a hundred percent better than it was last year. And once you have that outlook, now you can start activating your faith according to that outlook. And now you can start reaping the benefits of that outlook because if you think negative things then you're going to draw negative energy and negative things to you but if you're thinking positive things and you're acting on those positive thoughts then you're gonna accomplish positive things it's just no ifs and buts about it of course we all know that satan is watching us like a hawk and he's gonna try to throw some black pepper into every situation but Hey, you should already know the deal that the Bible says that Satan is under your feet. So go on, just stump him out. Every time you see his little head poking out, just go on, do some stumps on top of his head and put him in his place. And when he gets tired of getting stumped on, and after you stump his head so many times, you just going to break his head off and then he just going to end up dead. He going to go to somebody else that can be a target for him you know sometimes satan attacks us because we have a target on our back we have a sign that says i am attackable i am not walking in the spirit of god i do not read the word of god i do not walk by faith and not by sight i do not activate my faith and i don't listen to what god tell me i walk in fear and so you got that monkey and that sign on your back and satan come after you every time but when you change that sign on your back and say i am not afraid of satan and he belongs under my feet and every time he stick his neck out i step on it that fool ain't coming to mess with you <laughs> Whoa, we, 
every now and then he just might try to stick his head out just to see if you still doing what you're supposed to be doing. And when he see you still doing what you're supposed to be doing, y'all, Satan looks for easy, willing targets. And I know y'all going to say, well, who is willing to let Satan beat them up? It's a whole bunch of people willing. Because when you don't learn from your mistakes and when you don't learn that resistance Satan at every angle is giving you power to resist him all the time. When you don't learn that, then you are a willing participant in the game that Satan is playing. And y'all, I don't play with Satan no more. I ain't got time for him. I don't listen to him. I don't talk to him. I ain't got time for it. So uh, I just want to encourage you in this today. I hope that this word of God finds you guys blessed. I hope that it's an encouragement to you. I hope that you keep the faith. If you have any prayer requests, leave them in the comments bar below. If you have any Bible scripture that you want me to read, also leave that in the comments bar below and just be blessed and let's continue to have an awesome fellowship with God this year. So I will talk to you guys later. Thanks so much for tuning in. I love you and remember that Jesus paid the price. I'll talk Talk to you guys later. Bye now.